Well, hello there. My name is HW. Thank you so much, my friends, for watching Tone Junkie TV. If you've wandered into this corner of the internet, well, let me welcome you. And uh, we're going to talk about the Kemper, in case that wasn't immediately obvious. My friends, I got an email this week that said, um, HW, how do I take the blanket off of my tone? I got some profiles, and they sound great, except for it sounds like there's a blanket over the tone. Me and this gentleman then went back and forth. Uh, I did confirm there was, in fact, no blanket over the amplifier. And then our challenge became, what does it mean to have a blanket over your tone? What does, how, and how do we fix it? Well, let's, let's, uh, let's establish a few, a few ground rules here. Blanket over your tone. This refers to high end. I'm not, it doesn't sound present. It doesn't sound with me. It sounds like there's a blanket over it. Why would that be? Why would we use that? It sounds like there's a blanket over the tone. Or, um, and, and how would we fix this with, uh, with high frequencies, with presence? Well, the very term presence really is sort of a description of how the frequencies make you feel. We have bass, we have middle, we have treble, and then we have presence, right? It's the sizzle, the top endy stuff. And presence is the difference between uh, hearing a sound and being able to discern whether it is close or far away. And this is because um, sound, as it travels, high end has less energy behind the wave. The smaller wave has less energy. So low end frequencies travel further. So when we say a sound is present, uh, it is a sound that uh, has a lot of high top end and sounds close to you. And when we say something sounds far away, as it was described, or a blanket is over your tone, this is a sound where we're used to hearing uh, more low end, more mid range frequency. Whatever we're hearing, it's a sound source we recognize. However, the energy from the top end, the tighter sound waves, have not made it all the way to us. Okay, now that you got your PhD in uh, present frequencies, um, how, what does that mean for the Kemper and what do we do? Well, there actually is a blanket control in the Kemper, sort of. It's not really called that, but I'll show you what it is. So, as you heard there in the intro, I've got two different sounds. One, uh, but this is a bright guitar. It's a, I mean, it's a bright-ish guitar. Here, listen to these single coils real quick. <laughs> Beautiful sound. It's a Mars 2204. It's a JMP 2204 from the late 70s. And uh, here is that same thing with a, with a larger Sir SSH humbucker. Much wider, bigger, you know, still a good amount of high end, but not quite as much sizzle. More presence, eh, maybe thinner. Thicker, but still present. So if we want to take the blanket off our tone, or we want to add a blanket on, right? I'm not hearing a lot of blanketiness right here. But if you were, uh, the trick is going to be in, in the cabinet section, let's take a look at high shift. Now, high shift in this case, I'm actually going to put a blanket on my tone. And by doing that, I'm going to pull down the high shift uh, to negative one and a half. Now, let's hear the same guitar that way. <laughs> Sounds, sounds, sounds fat. Sounds like fat single coils. Let's hear the humbucker now. This to me sounds thick, fat, full. It sounds like rock and roll music.
maybe a little bit exaggerated. I would actually back it off, and to me, this is like a real warm, a nice kind of rock sound. <laughs> To me, that sounds big, fat, full. If that's a blanket on your tone, though, let's say that's your sound, you go, I got a blanket on my tone. You just lift this high shift up, and all of a sudden. <laughs> I have no idea what key that was in. Uh, it changed about three times. However, the fact remains that we can uh, we can shift, you know, the high end and give us this blanketed, far away, close feel. Right? We feel closer. Now let's let's get even closer. Right? Let's really let's really bare our souls. Let's open up. Let's you and me get a little bit closer. <laughs> Interesting, keep going. Too close, please back up. Back away from me, you're far too close now. You see, uh, we've now taken off the blanket and uh, all of the goodness too, right? So we, we've run this high, ship of, this high shift up too much. Now, why would there be, let's talk about this. Why would there be like a blanket over your tone? Why would you want to cut high end out of your tone? Well, if this is our, our go-to sound. <laughs> Let's say you want a really a little bit more thick rock and roll kind of fatness because maybe your vocalist is a female. You want to stay away from her vocal range with some of your meadly meadly stuff. You might go to something like this. I mean, that's a good tone, man. That's a good tone, dude. Come on. What do we got here? You throw a little, uh, throw a little Kemper drive on that? I mean, it sounds so good, you don't even need notes. Just randomness sounds good. Watch out, I'm a DJ now. Okay, seriously though, um, the, 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 uh, the Kemper here, it, you've got a lot of room, right, with this high-end thing. And it's really the difference between, am I close, am I far away? And is there a blanket on my tone, or am I really bright and present? Now, a darker guitar, you may want to lift this up, but for this setup and this guitar, lifting this thing anywhere above zero, I'm at plus 0.5. <laughs> It's a little like that, ACDC has a little bit of that, like, you know, you're right in front of the amp sort of feel in their records. Um, to me, rock and roll tone with this guitar and right here, I want to be at negative five and just be nice and full. <laughs> You know what? Not even. I like the way I did the profiles. At, right at zero. Ooh. 
But what if you're up here, uh, fat single coils, right? And you're like. <laughs> You're like, that's, you know what, I want it fatter. Now you take these down, and you might really like this because you're gonna get all that single coil juiciness, but you get a little less of that presence. Let me take that down even more. Check this out. That's fat, it's juicy, it's big, you know? It's just like. Yeah, man, I mean, there's just like, there's a lot of tone in there. You know what I'm saying? Like you can get real thick, syrupy, beautiful goodness, you know? Or you can get it really bright. You know, and maybe, maybe you want to go, maybe it's like it's too bright if I add brightness, but I go to plus two and I go. And you're like, that's too bright. Okay, what about the in-between position where we don't get a ton of brightness? get more brightness in that position uh, and I meant to bring it down some but my my brain was flipped because the syrupy goodness of this tone is just so intoxicating negative five on the high shift here we go I hope that was helpful. My name has been HW. Thank you so much for watching Tone Junkie TV. If you got a blanket on your tone, please remove it. If you have the sensation of a blanket on your tone, uh, just go ahead, check out that high shift, and it's really gonna, it's gonna shift around with the guitar and the profile combination. I hope that was helpful. My name's been HW. HW out. <laughs>